Hi. Um, I just actually heard you right now discussing why people don't, you know, talk about what's really going on. I'm a new listener, by the way. And okay. um, I recently saw this documentary by BBC called Century of the Self. Mm-hmm. And it just discusses how um, one of Sigmund Freud's very close nephews um, brought the psychology of the self into marketing and how that really keeps us as happiness machines so we don't really care about the politics or anything else going around us. Is that Bernays? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, it's Edward Bernays. Oh, yeah, he's a real demon. Yeah. I mean, he. he <laughs> yeah. I mean, not only is he a real demon, he's a bragging demon. I mean, if you don't know about Bernays, yeah, he, he is really one of the pioneers of social engineering and how to really make people vain and full of themselves and really uh, you just totally lackadaisical about what's going on in them around them in politics it's not cool to be into politics remember it's not cool to study in school it's not cool to read books it's not cool to know how the system works you know that's not cool what's cool is wearing you know ripped jeans and a cool t-shirt you know that's what's cool hold over i want to talk about it more also you know driving a great car playing video games all that stuff is fun on one level but educate yourself find out what's really going on around you know what you're putting into your body is that so much to ask be an informed populace the Info Warrior. We'll be back after this. 866-582-9933. And unfortunately, the reality of this country and much of the westernized world, if you will, is very ugly. And it's got a very shiny packaged outside. So why is it that we are so dumbed down? Why is it that we don't care? You know, how did Bernays and others really engineer this? Well, you know, back in the day when you were out on the street and you talk to people because you would have to interact with people you know this is the time of maybe a telephone call you know it's not like we had the internet and email and text messages and you carried a phone around no you actually were around people and then on the streets they actually sold newspapers newspapers that reported the news now let's let's take a setting today where people are shopping in a grocery store there are no real newspapers you're, you're lucky to see one local paper and one maybe USA Today in a stack but at every single aisle what's there us weekly readers digest you know the soap opera books the inquirer just pure pop culture garbage even people is really just pop culture garbage at this point it's like brangelina ooh like that means something and unfortunately people care so much about celebrity that when i go home at one in the morning and i turn on the tv you know what's on the insider entertainment tonight just useless garbage to me. I'm lucky to get a local newscast that's telling me maybe one-tenth of the truth. I mean, I literally have to watch 30 minutes of news to get one story that's semi-accurate. I mean, I think that's a big reason, and we've become so self-absorbed. I mean, what, what do you think, Maria? Um, I think that's completely true, and one of the things that I saw that was interesting in that documentary was that, um, how Henry Kissinger and Gaines were both involved in, um, I believe it was Ecuador, mm-hmm. no, it was uh, with Allende in Chile. The yeah, overthrow- Allende in Chile. Oh. Yeah, of course, they've right. overthrown dictators. <laughs> His advisor right now, it's, it's Obama's advisor, is Kissinger again. Well, so Kissinger has been in the backdrop. Listen, Kissinger, is, listen, he is, he is a, a key player. Let's talk about Henry Kissinger in this segment, and I thank you for the call, Maria. So let's talk Kissinger. All right. Kissinger has been around promoting a new world order since the 70s, openly. Okay. He is at every single Bilderberg meeting along with, you know, Daddy David Rockefeller. He's like, he's like his consigliere. He's his right hand man. I mean, you know, Rockefeller and, uh, Kissinger are really arm in arm. Now, they originally wanted Henry Kissinger to head up the 9 11 Commission. But he was so, he still had that aura of corruption around him so much that the nine, you know, the 9 11 families right away said, no, 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 we don't want Henry Kissinger involved in this. And then later on in 2004, I believe it broke, that Kissinger behind the scenes was a war advisor to the Bush administration. Of course, he wasn't on the, he wasn't on the scene outwardly, but he played a lot of the politics in the background. And really, Kissinger has always been a guy behind the scenes, whether he's in these administrations or not. And yes, he is behind this Barack Obama administration. And that's why, again, he calls for a new, let's pull up the Kissinger New World Order clip where he's on C. Yes. You know, we think Obama can pull off this new world order. And yes, I, I mean, this guy, in, until he croaks, is going to be one of those mouthpieces, one of those guys you see sometimes in the foreground, but 95% of the time he's going to be in the background promoting his agenda. All right, let's go to our next caller. Uh, Sam in Colorado, you're on the line. Yes, sir. 
Are you going to be a coward and hang up on me? Oh, look, it's princess. Coward. It's a I'll little come. princess. Like, I use the pretty. Oh, you're not so pretty, princess. That's right. Oh, a coward, coward and hang up. What do you? What do you? What do you got to ask? Huh? Huh, uh, champ? I'll get. I'm going to give you your line. Ask a question. So have a um, comment. Do you believe that Khalid Sheikh Muhammad should be set free? Because obviously you think he's innocent. I think, all right, I thank you for your question, sir. I'll tell you what I believe about Khalid Sheikh Muhammad. I don't think that Khalid Sheikh Muhammad should be set free. That's if Khalid Sheikh Muhammad is alive. Because, you know, darndest thing, they said that they captured and killed him three times before we got the real Khalid Sheikh Muhammad. Now, I'm going to find a couple of those for you, princess, I promise. We're going we're gonna to post them on the Bobby Bloggins tomorrow. Check the InfoWarrior.com. Okay, now, whoever they're charging, if this is really Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who knows? Maybe those three other reports are inaccurate, buddy. Let's have an open trial. Let's start asking him questions in front of everybody. <gasps> oh, and then, if he's found guilty by a jury in a public forum... He should go to prison, especially if he had something to do with killing 3,000 plus people, as your small mind believes. And he may have had something to do with it. He may have been a middleman, but he didn't have the big picture. If you think that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed plotted the attacks with Osama bin Laden, those are the two guys. They did it all. They were high-fiving and, you know, knew it all. You're out of your mind. I mean, you are redneck retard from West Virginia, princess. I promise you that. We'll be back after this is the Info Warrior.